We're asked to first find the focus and directrix of the parabola by moving the orange point and line to their correct positions. Then use that information to find the equation of the parabola. So just as a little bit of review, a parabola is a conic section that is formed from all of the points that are equal distant to some point that we call the focus and some line that we call the directrix. And what we have right over here, what it does is as we move along the parabola, as we move our, our cursor along the parabola right over here, it looks at the distance to where the current dot is, and then it tries to, it tries to plot that same distance to some theoretical directrix, and that's where that line drops down. And you can clear, clearly see right now that this isn't working out, that this is not equidistant. So the first thing that we, I'd like to do when I try to figure out where the focus is, is that the focus is going, the parabola is going to be symmetric around the focus, or at least around the vertical line that the focus is on, I should say. And so the focus is going to sit right above the vertex. So that's the first thing to do. And so let me keep manipulating it. So it looks like, so if I look below down there, and it's hard to do that because when I move the cursor, then that green thing disappears. But if you look at the, that vertical green line, that shouldn't be moving, the bottom of it shouldn't be moving up and down. It should be equidistant to a flat line. So let me keep playing with it. It looks like that might be an improvement. Let me see. So this actually looks, this actually looks pretty good. Notice the bottom, whoops. Notice the bottom of the vertical line, of the vertical green line, is not moving or it's not moving in the vertical direction, it's just moving in the horizontal direction. So if I move my directrix up there, that should work out. So let me move it up there, and there you have it. Notice, now my parabola, these green lines show the distance to the focus and the distance to the directrix. And notice that they are always the same. So it looks like I got the right focus and the right directrix now. So I got the right focus and the right directrix. And the focus is 1 fourth comma negative 3 8, 3 eighths, and the directrix is y equals negative 5 eighths. So now let's try to use that information to actually find the equation of the parabola in this form right over here. And this is going to involve a little bit of algebra for us. So let, actually, let me, let me copy and paste this. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy and paste this so that we know what we need. And let me open my little scratch pad up. All right, so this is our information, and we need to fi figure out the equation of uh, the parabola. So just as a little bit of review, we have the point. So let's say this is our point. This is our focus. It's the point 1 fourth comma negative 3 eighths. And then we have the directrix at y equals negative 5 eighths. So the directrix looks something like this. The directrix looks something like that. That is y is equal to negative 5 eighths. And then we have our parabola. We have our parabola, and it looks something like this. It's equidistant to the two, so our parabola looks something like that. And the parabola, the x's and y's that satisfy this equation, are all of the x's and y's that are equidistant to these two things. So let's call that x comma y. So let's find an equation for all of the x's and y's that are equidistant to this point and to this line right over here. So first, let's think about the distance between this focus and this x, y right over here. Well, that distance is just comes straight out of the distance formula, which comes straight out of the Pythagorean theorem. It's going to be x minus 1 fourth, so x minus 1 fourth squared, plus y minus negative 3 eighths squared. So that's going to be y plus 3 eighths squared. So this is our distance squared. We could take the square root if we, well, let me just do that. So let me just take the square root. So this is the distance between any point on the parabola x, y, and the focus. And the distance between that same point and the directrix, well, that's just going to be a straight vertical line. So that's just going to be our, that's just going to be our change in y. So this is going to be equal to y y minus negative 5 eighths, which is the same thing as y plus 5 eighths. And just to make sure that this is always positive, let's square it and then take the square root. Now, to simplify this, we could square both sides of this equation, and we get x minus 1 fourth squared plus y, and actually, let me expand this out. This will be useful for us in a second, so let me expand this out. So this is going to be y squared plus, let's see, 2 times 3 eighths is 3 fourths. So plus 3 
fourths y plus nine over 64 is equal to this thing squared, which is just y. Well, let me actually expand that out as well. So that's y squared plus two times five eighths is going to be five fourths. Five fourths y plus 25 over 64. Now let me see if I can simplify it. I have a y squared on both sides, so I can cancel those terms out. So y squared, y squared. Let me subtract 3 fourths y from both sides. So let me subtract 3 fourths y, subtract 3 fourths y. And let me subtract 9 sixty fourths from both sides. Minus 9 sixty fourths, minus 9 sixty fourths. Make sure we have a little more space. So that's going to be gone, that's going to be gone. Our left hand side is just going to simplify to x minus 1 fourth squared. And that's going to be equal to, let's see, 5 fourths minus 3 fourths is 2 fourths, which is the same thing as 1 half y. And then 25 60 fourths minus 9 60 fourths is 16 60 fourths, which is just the same thing as 1 fourth. So it's going to be plus, plus 1 fourth there. Now they want us, we're almost got where we need to go. We have this x minus 1 fourth squared. We just need to get a coefficient out here and write this in terms of y minus something. So what we can do right over here is we can factor out a 1 half. So let's do that. So this is going to be x minus 1 fourth squared is equal to, factoring out a 1 half, it's 1 half times y plus 1 half. And now in order to put it in the form that they care about, they just have y minus something right over here. And then something times x minus something squared. So we need to get this 1 half or get this coefficient on the other side. The easiest way I know how to do that is to multiply both sides by 2. So you multiply both sides by 2. That cancels. And we're left with, and if we really want to put it in the form that they care about, we can swap the sides. Instead of writing y plus 1 half, we can write that as y minus negative 1 half. That's the same thing as y plus 1 half. I'm going to do it in the same form that they want. Is equal to, is equal to 2 times 2 times x minus 1 fourth squared. So let me see, did I do that right? Yep, y minus negative 1 half, the same thing as y plus 1 half, is equal to 2 times x minus 1 fourth squared. So let me see if we got that actually right. So let's see, y my, it's negative 1 half here, positive 2, and then 1 fourth. So we have, it is negative 1 half, positive 2, and then 1 fourth. 1 over 4. Let's see if we got it right. And we did.